You guys, I'm live. Hi. What's up, everybody? Hi, 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 hi. I'm just on a phone. Okay, I've got some requests. None of them are Lynn Gunn, though. That's the one we're looking for. You guys. How many of you were just on? Yeah, it's a good shirt, right? I'm so good. It's a great day. Honestly, though, I'm heated. That was a very stressful situation. For those of you who are joining from our efforts to do a live chat, that was misleading. Hi from Greece. Those are my people. Do you guys know that I'm Greek? I'm wearing my grandpa's ring. I'm not flipping you off. This is just my grandpa's ring. Requests, I see requests. Should I take them? I don't know, maybe. I love your hair. I love you loving your hair. That's what I love. You were in the chat. It was stressful. I look at my face. I'm hot. It stressed me out. Um, but we're here now. And yes. Okay. I see your request. I kind of want to just say, I'm going to say yes until, until Lindsay gets here. Hi from Paris, like the real Paris, not Paris with a V. You guys, there's so many people from all over the world. Are you guys dancing to the remix? Are you living your best lives? Or do you hate dancing? Okay, nine others sent me requests. Is she in here? Not yet. Oh, oh, she is, she's there. Oh, no, I sent an invite. I don't really works. Hi, get in here. What's up, you guys? What's up, Lyndon? What's up? How you doing? I'm tired, but I'm good. Yeah, I'm stressed out. That was really stressful. <laughs> <laughs> the I'm internet is so hard. Keep up with, with everybody's questions. On I know, okay. Well, I saved some of them because I'm a good dad. I was reading them as we were inside that chat room because I intended to have an incredible time having an interview with our faces. So here we are. We're working with it. Technology 2020. Shall I lead us? Shall I start with some cues? Yes, you're the you're the TV host. I'm the TV host. Lynn Gunn, let me start by saying it is a pleasure to have you here. A pleasure and an honor. And I am uh, so excited to get into the making of the Paris remix of Supernova. But before I do that, I want to answer some questions from fans. I thought this was good because we actually just talked about this. Somebody asked, lyrics you're most proud of. Do you want to start? This is all about you. This is not. No, um, you're here. You're here. You're clear. Questions. You're asking. You're answering cat questions. I'm here. You're just here to stare at me while I answer questions? Here to all right, fine. I really think you should tell the fans what you love, but I will start. Um, because for those of you who are here because you love cat hunting, you need to learn to love Lynn Gunn and Paris. They're the shit. And I'm very lucky to have had this remix done by Lynn Gunn. Okay, so lyrics I'm most proud of. I would say, um, I said the other day when we were chatting, I said for the love. But then I thought about it and I totally forgot that I love, I love the lyrics to Birds. They're perfect lyrics. That's the answer. What about you? Favorite cat cutting lyric? No. Um, Unless you haven't answered that, I'll listen. Hmm. Whoa. Um. What was that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Okay, you're doing great. Listen, we'll we'll quickly move off of that. Um. I wish there was a way to see their questions more clearly, like all of that. There's a way. There's a, there should be a little question bubble that pops up. Okay. Paris is elite, true life. Lynn is here in a supporting role. That's true. Okay. I love you, Kevin. Nigeria. All right. I'm going to go back to you. I guess really what we should talk about is... Um, <laughs> what? What'd you say? A comment. It was really funny. What was it? It's, they just said Pisces dissociating. 
amazing. Somebody said, Lynn, how do you feel about cats stepping on people? I, I don't know. I don't know about it. If, if it's <laughs> consensual stepping on, that's okay. Yeah, I feel that way too. You know, you're like, I plead the fifth. I have nothing to do with it if you get arrested. Fathers, we love the remix. Yes, we love the remix. Okay, so I guess while I have you here, we should talk a little bit about the remix. Um, the obvious question is, how did you do what you did to this beautiful remix? How did I do what I did, what I did, and why did I do it? Um, <laughs> I basically isolated your vocal. So I didn't want to hear anything else around it. I was just like, give me Kat's voice. So I listened to the isolated vocal, and I pitched it down so I could I could kind of forget the original chord progressions. And then I basically will always start with just like a sub bass or one root note and play it to a click. So I'll just like have a click going, your vocal going, or whoever's vocal, and then a bass note. And then I'll just find whatever notes feel like it makes it really sad and dreamy. And then that's like the skeleton for the chord progression mapping. And then I will usually think of a beat after that. It was like, I felt like the, was was a fun one for it. Yeah, how, how'd you do that? Because that's the part that changed my life personally. How did I do that? Yeah, where did it, where did it come from? Did it just come to you? Um, I forget, I think the, Sorry, sleepy baby. Um, no, I usually if I'm like finding beat, I'll mess around with weird little logic kits just to get like a fun thing, and then um, then if it's something sounds cool, I'll go and enhance the kit and like make it sound like a more together thing. Okay, for for the fans watching, the beat is the thing that changed my life because. When I first heard it, I just like started kicking my feet and dancing. And I had tried to like find this vibe in the original and I had a lot of people try the song and they were like, there's no way to make it hype. There's no way to dance to it. And then it just happened on your first pass. And I was like, you're literally a genius and a rock star. Um, okay. And I'm gonna look at these other questions quickly. I think you should answer these if you can. If I wasn't in music, what industry would I be in? You? Well, no, you don't have to answer them about me. You can answer them for you. I know your answer. What is you it? Wait, no, I, I want to know what you think my answer is. No, your answer was um, that you would do some type of like sex therapy. Yes, that's true. I would love to be a sex therapist. Because I love talking about sex, and I'm very sex positive, and I think that everybody, lots of people, need a little help figuring it out. Um, but I also, my first, like, more PG answer is that I would just still be a broke artist and writer. No. No, <laughs> you don't see that for me. No, it would be if music didn't exist for you and like creative things didn't exist, what would you do? Oh, okay. Hey, I actually. Oh, it's still working. Okay. okay. Do you know your answer? My answer? My answer? Mm -hmm. For what you'd do if you didn't do music. I'd, should I the rule out um, other things that are also not creative? No, I feel like creatives can't live unless it's creative. Like, just, like, put something that you don't already literally do. But what if it's something I want to do that I'm going to pursue at some point? I can't do that. No, you can. I might be a sex therapist one day. Um, I can't wear latex on stage forever. <laughs> you wear them in your, your therapy sessions. Yes. I'll be like, this is sex therapy. I'm here to inspire you. These are some of the options on the table. I feel like you would have, like, You'd have to be a little more organized for this, but you'd have like a book <laughs> with this, this for this aesthetic that I'm envisioning. You okay. would need like, like statues of boobs everywhere and like really phallic looking 
Oh, yeah, for sure. Art. If you're, all sex therapists need to have classy sex art everywhere. Like, you can't get away from the sex in the room, you yeah. know? To wear flowy pants and the flowy shirt. It's horrible. I really hate this version of myself in your brain. <laughs> it's really grossing me out. <laughs> if I was a sex therapist, I'd be, like, very scary, dumb sex therapist. I'd have, like, intense makeup on, and I'd be wearing very high heels. And be like, you just need to try. <laughs> I'd be really unhelpful, actually. Um, okay, back to stuff. But you didn't say what else you would do. Oh, um, um, maybe interior design. I knew you would say that. Branding, creative, consulting. I want to do that. You're so you're so good. You've got a knife. You've got a knife for fashion and art and architecture. What? I said you've got an eye for fashion and art and architecture. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I think like two more questions, right? Do, I'm going to check in the chat and see if anybody's done anything incredible that we could pay mind to. Mexican power, here for it. Kat, can you say Melissa, please? Melissa? What's up, Melissa? Um, why you is Lynn so cute? Yes, I will. What'd you say? Someone said, design a coffee shop challenge. What I is a coffee that? shop challenge? Like, like they're challenging me to design a coffee shop. I want you to do that. That would be so great. Easy. I have so many ideas. I can't give them away until they're real. My main goal in life is to know somebody who can get me free coffee all the time. Okay, 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 okay. I'm checking. There are a lot of comments. You guys are doing great. We love it. Most importantly, though, what we want to leave you with, Kat is my girlfriend. All right, shit, cool. Um, <laughs> um, where do you get the inspiration for Supernova? You guys, I think you know already that it's about, um, most of you guys know, it's about this girl who I was like, I'm falling for you, even though you're shitty to me. And I was shitty to her, and it was sad, and it was so sad. But it was like the really hot, beguiling moment where you're like, I'm going for this anyway. And I'm excited by this remix because I think it feels sexy and sad and troubled for that story. Um, okay. I, there are lots of cues. Do you see anything you want to answer, Lynn? No. No. Okay. We'll end on two then. I can't see the question. You can't? Like Only I can? Yeah, I can see comments, but I can't see questions. No, they're comments. I'm looking at the comments. Oh, okay. I don't know if you had a separate question, but all right. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Wow, so many, so many. Sexy and sad, my branding. Yeah, that's what we're here to do. Okay. Out of the three questions that I wrote down, um, I think this one's good. If my life had a gag reel, what would be on it? What's a gag reel? I feel stupid. A gag reel is like knowing. bloopers. What would be on your gag reel? Yeah, like the gag reel of your life. Like your biggest mistakes or the fool most foolish moments. Every day? I don't know. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say the time that I dated boys. Oh. That's all right. They were nice guys. Um, and unless there's anything else pressing that we should leave you with other than like, go listen to this song, play it on repeat, have a sexy time in your house while quarantining. Yes. Do, do that, do that. And, um, like, please really enjoy this. Cause we really enjoyed it and like bump it in your fucking cars and shit like that. And, and safely have a party. Um, we'll end on one last question. No, let's do five more questions. Okay, fuck yeah, love it, love to see it. I only wrote down some. Okay, well then, um, who would you like to tour with next? In a world where you, who do you want to tour with next? You, stop. Disgusting. I'm here for it. Wait. No, I didn't see. <laughs> well, yeah, I would love to tour with you too. Okay, well, who I would, who else I said was Rosalia. Oh yeah, like the goals for me because she has 
a whole ass dance history and like brings that in a really beast mode way to her music and she's a like sick emotional vocalist and her art and styling is just on point and I feel like um those are things that I try to stand for too so I would like to share an audience with her what about you okay um I think Grimes would be really cool to tour with. Sick. That would be good. <laughs> Some funny comments are happening. Um, I Wait, think that's what? it. No, just reading some funny comments. It's not a big deal. Um, uh, favorite stage experience thus far? Thus far? Mm-hmm. You are so sleepy. Um, you got a uh, proposal. Someone wants to marry you. Do we, do we have your permission? Yeah. Huh? Do we have your permission? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> I'm here for polyamory 2021. Cool. All right. Whoever said, whoever asked, the answer is yes. Congrats, you guys. Thank you. And, and can't wait to answer, find out who it is. Uh, well, answer, I can't find it anymore. They're coming in so fast. My favorite stage moment it uh, was when our sound guy, or one of our, our techs, his name's TJ, did the worm across stage for my birthday. And then <laughs> um, there's another time he wore a hot dog suit on stage. Oh, damn. Okay, well, those are really funny answers. My answer is going to be, like, boringly sincere. Um, I just had a really great time performing in Montreal because I haven't gotten to tour a lot in my life, and I opened for LP, who has, like, loads of super dedicated gay fans, so it was really awesome. And the stage that we played in Montreal was just, like, so big, and the lighting was so good, and there was a runway, and it was just a real vibe, and the sound was so good. So that was my favorite. What's up, Montreal? Yeah. But also the time that I got to come down from the ceiling. Like, multiple times. Um, favorite stage experience? Gu guitar or piano? For, for me? Guitar, yeah, for both of us. Like, um, really, are you going to just, like, be hard to get and say piano? No, I really, really love piano. I just don't have one at home. You, but if you had to choose one or the other to only be the only instrument that ever existed. Ooh, ah, guitar. Yeah, guitar. I don't but, know. But piano feels so exciting right now. Yeah, that's cool. My, I feel like I started singing with a guitarist and I've always had really like important artistic relationships to guitarists who changed like music for me. So it's a no brainer, but piano is really great. Um, yeah. You can do so much with guitar too. Yeah. You can change so many different um, tones and like you can just bring so much personality to something. I, I wrote down two other questions, but if you guys have any others you better write them now make them good make them weird write them out lgbt people suck but they did it with a v which makes me feel like they love paris but they hate the gays so just get out of here um favorite artist growing up wait where is that i'm so confused it's not i wrote these down from the chat prior because they dedicated their time to writing wonderful questions and then we said psych oh Wait, I was looking for the person who was being mean. Guys, I'm not fucking high. I'm tired. You guys, everyone don't be haters. It's really, it's really sad. She's working hard. She's working hard to stay awake. Got her a little slack. Right. I am right. your dad. Okay, what was your question? Um, I'm trying to. Do you feel like more collabs in the future? More, more proposals. Love you, daddy. Love you, kids. Um, and, okay, well, I'll just go back to the questions I had, because this is hard to read. Um, favorite artist growing up? 
Okay, we are throwing up. My this will sound really funny. My mom used to play. I thought you were gonna say your mom. No, <laughs> no, my mom used to play Enya when I couldn't sleep. Oh, you told me this. Yeah, or James Taylor. James Taylor is great. Yeah, I don't remember any of it, but I, my mom was always like, can you just fall very asleep? Um, but I, as a kid, loved the Water Boys. That was cool. I wasn't... Who they yeah. are. Huh? I don't even know who they are. They're pretty cool. They're like, they sound like, an, and it makes sense that like, as a teen, Florence became my favorite. They're very similar, like, mystical, magical, organic, like, big sounding. Nice. But with, with, like, magic thrown in, I guess. I don't know. Nice. Um, I... Yeah. You. Well, you saying the thing about, like, being a baby and listening to music made me remember what my mom played when I was little. And I think this is why I love, like, R&B pop and, like, Neo Soul. My mom told me that when she was pregnant, she worked out with me on one of those teeny tiny um, trampolines that you can have in your house while listening to En Vogue. And if you don't know who En Vogue is, you might know this sound bite. Never gonna get it, never gonna get it, never gonna get it, never gonna get it. That one. And she loved it from the movie. There was some good movie. I don't know. But I love that whole album still. And as a young person... I loved the Backstreet Boys. I know a lot of people stand by NSYNC, but I really loved the Backstreet Boys. Die Hard. I wrote a sign for them when I went to their concert. They were my first concert, and it got taken away when I got there. It was very sad. Um, oh, tell them how you got your first concert. Oh, yeah, it's really cute. Okay, this so my adorable. dad's really, really good at Christmas. He's really good at presents, and... Um, for my first concert, he gave me a present on Christmas, which was the Backstreet Boys CD. And I was just like so excited just to have the CD. And then he was like, open it. And it was still in the plastic. It was still wrapped all the way as far as I could tell. And when I opened it inside the leaflet where there used to be like paper, um, the, there were two tickets to the concert. So he had like sliced it with a pocket knife and slid the tickets inside of the CD. And it was the coolest present ever. He really set the bar. Yeah, life changing. So good. So good. Okay, the last one I have written down is actually a strictly me question. Um, well, I'll answer it anyway. Do I attempt back streets back? All right. Yes, we'll see you guys. Um, Lynn is daddy. Cool. Questionable. Um, <laughs> I, <laughs> I do I I am, I am a baby. You are the baby, or you are the grandma. Grandma and baby, baby. Also feels accurate. I'm a gram grandma and baby. Yeah, and also, but like equal parts, very sexy old man, like Hugh Hefner vibes. You have a lot going on. Thank you. Yeah, it's a whole formula, sugar and spice Thank and everything you. nice. Um, you heard it here first. True. Um, okay, will you look for one last question we can both answer while I answer this? Uh, I, I can't see the questions. Oh, the comments, though. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, guys, send them in. Make them good. Make them good, guys. This is your last chance. This is the finale. Finalement. All right. We are Jesus's. Kurt needs a nap after this. True. Me too, if I'm being honest. I'm just faking it. Okay. I'll answer the Sabine question. Um, yeah, I totally identify with Sabine, except for that she's kind of a jerk. I would like to think that I'm um, as strong as her and as confident as her, but I would never take somebody on tour and then treat them like shit. And I also would never take a young adult on tour. Um, just putting that out there um but yeah in many good. ways very good yeah <laughs> but in in many ways Sabine was inspired by me being me so um we're not it's not far off except for that she's a jerk um yeah you're not a jerk you're too nice 
Yeah, I'm a nice guy. You thought I was going to be a jerk before you met me, huh? A little bit. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you play a role. Um, I got tricked. I didn't think you were going to be funny. Surprise. But I didn't take a deep dive. Your fans know you're funny. Surprise. That's right. Surprise. <laughs> we got funny jokes in our pockets. Okay. Um, you got anything? Someone said, Lynn, you'll hate this because you hate anything with this stuff. Said, Lynn has had many past lives, just hasn't learned to separate them. I actually had a psychic tell me that. Wow, damn. They said that I get them mixed up. Your past lives? Yeah, they said there's some, or no, they said that there's one that's parallel to, and very similar to what is happening right now. And, like, all the people in my life are in the same roles, and I keep getting mixed up, and I don't know which one's the past one was now, which is interesting. Very huh. crazy. Wow. I wonder what your past lives looked like. We've talked about this a little bit. Like, I was definitely some type of, like, prince and or really broke. Um, mm -hmm. I was, like, an Aladdin type, you know? I was, like, running around stealing stuff and giving stolen apples to girls. Yeah, you're like a scoundrel. I was a scoundrel for sure. Yeah. Yeah. What, what about you? What would what, what about me? Like describe one of your past lives. Um, one supposedly I was a medicine woman and I got strung up by the neck in Germany. Ooh. Drama. Because the uh, the doctors, the Roman Catholics and the doctors and all all of the patriarchy didn't like that. Um. And then I was also apparently a boy who stole bread for their family, and I got caught by soldiers. A boy who stole bread for their family. Yeah, my family was poor, and I had to steal bread. I respect that. I mean, so too. It's funny that you're gluten-free now, though. I'm gluten-free, and I really don't like not following rules or, or stealing things or anything. Maybe you got it all out of your system that time, though. Maybe. You know, like maybe the things you are now are because you've been the opposite in the past. I don't know. Maybe. Or because it got me killed. So now I'm like, don't break it. Yeah. You're like, fuck gluten. That yeah. does not end well. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think I, I think that's all the questions I have. Is there anything we should leave them with on the topic of this song and how they should go enjoy it? And I don't know, man. Anything else? Yeah. For best listening pleasure, drive around at night in your car mm -hmm. with a friend or a loved one um if you can do that obviously safely given the current state of the world and pandemic but yeah jam it at night in a car jam it at night life. take a little road trip and uh mm -hmm. just play it on repeat while you're sleeping yeah <laughs> yeah get those streams up yeah get those streams up okay <laughs> <laughs> trying to buy a house JK. <laughs> um in all sincerity though thanks you guys for joining thanks oh no for, uh, oh no for... you froze you're freezing you froze oh no i'm trying to freeze on a funny frame now what okay now you're back sorry okay great well this is good timing because my phone is about to die that's probably why it's freezing but uh, we fucking love all you guys that are joining in and appreciating this. And um, go love the song. We love it. We love you. And you're so good looking. Yeah. Me or them? So, you mostly. But also everyone else here. Oh, I'm blushing. Oh, me too. Okay. I'm Signing blushing. off. Cat Daddy and Grandma Girl. Right? Okay. right? <laughs> Grandma Gertie. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Dirty, dirty. Dirty, dirty. <laughs> yes. Dirty, dirty. Uh